once you have those moved over then the last thing that you'll want to do before we go through upgrade is to go to your original uh, blog and you'll have your uh, config file uh, open that config file I'm just selecting it here clicking on the icon and I'm going to click edit or you could click view either one I'm just going to click edit open that config file and look at the information that you have in that file now if you're upgrading something that's prior to WordPress 2.6 then the config file is going to be different than the config in 2.7 so you don't want to use the same config uh, so just open your original config file so that you'll see the information uh, that you need uh, the information you're going to need is the uh, database name the username and the database password basically so I'm going to come here and copy this password because it's just hard for me to remember and then my database name is Harold04 underscore blog25 users Harold04 underscore Figaro uh, localhost UTF-8 uh, those things will already be there probably and the prefix for the table here WP you're just going to make sure that in your new config file that you have that same prefix okay so I've done with that I'm going to close it and I'm going to go to my new blog now WordPress here and I'm going to open the sample WP config sample PHP edit it same way click edit and come here and fill in that information so my database name here was and it might help you if you print out or copy and paste uh, the information from your old one into notepad or something so you can remember what it is and then the password was localhost UTF-8 it's the same um, and here on the table prefix WP that's the same as the old now one additional new thing since 2.6 are these keys that you can put in here you don't have to include this information but it just helps security if you do so if you don't have these while I'm while you're here you might want to go ahead and put them in and you can get these keys now you can create your own you can just delete out the information between these single quotes here and type in any random string in all four of these areas uh, but if you want you can just go to this address that they have here I'm going to copy it open a new window paste that address in and it will generate those keys for you notice I'm just going to hit F5 on my computer here for a minute and notice every time I hit F5 see how a different string pops up here so all this is doing is generating on this website a random string of characters for your keys so I'll just go there generate those copy them and come back here and then go to where the information is here and I'm going to delete that information out and paste my keys in that I just generated okay. so there are my new keys uh, that should work fine uh, let's see there that helps I'm just keeping those comments below so there are my new keys uh, so I have everything in my config now set up uh, from my old I've defined my database my user put in the password localhost uh, if that's what was in your previous one leave it if in your previous one there was an IP address or something like that then you're going to need to put that here uh, character set UTF-8 uh, make certain that your table prefix is the same as your previous blog if it was something else then you need to change it here but chances are it's going to be WP underscore and then put in those keys if you want to put them in and then that's all the editing you need to do click Save Changes on your config and now you can close file manager now the last thing that I'll do then is come back here that I have all my stuff set up in my new and I'm gonna click on WordPress and I'm gonna rename it to what my original blog was so there blog 25 that's what my original was so by doing it this way I have my new source code here with all of my custom stuff copied over and my config set up uh, but I have my old source code 
still backed up in place in case I have problems. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to, to tell you to do. Um, once I rename that, uh, I got to go back to blog 25. I should have done this originally. But you go to that WP config sample and you click on it and you have to take sample off the end. Okay, click OK. All right, so now I have my uh, WP config.php. Okay. Once I've done all of that, then I can go to my site. If you've done it all correctly, when you go to your site, it should show up just as normal. Uh, then when you log in, then it should prompt you to upgrade the database. It will see that you have new source code installed, and it will say, do you want to upgrade the database? And that's why I took a database backup, is because since we're going to upgrade the database, just in case something happens, I have a backup of everything, because I backed up my database, downloaded it to my computer, I have my source code backed up in place, so if disaster happens I can recover pretty easy. So upgrade the database, there was a snap, click continue, and now you have your new 2.7 interface. And click view site, everything should work fine as long as you've followed all these steps and done everything properly. And then in the future, uh, to upgrade your site once you get to 2.7 uh, you can always go down to uh, tools and click on upgrade and when a new version comes out you can upgrade here from within WordPress if you're having some problems or something like that you can automatically reinstall your code here through WordPress uh, now that you've upgraded then you may want to go to your plugins and reactivate your plugins uh, that you had activated. And I would suggest you do them one at a time uh, and just test to make sure that they're actually compatible with 2.7. That's one way to upgrade an old version of WordPress to the newest version of 2.7.